Yo, what up? This is Clips from Team Ruthless, and I just wanted to do a quick, like, tips and tricks video. Um, it's gonna actually be in two parts because I think this part is kind of somewhat important, and um, I think it'd be too long if I did it one whole part. But yeah, um, I actually, be, and before I get into that, um, today I heard they might be adding 1v1s, which I, I'm excited for. I think that's the best. One of the better ways to learn the game doing 1v1s online and um, kind of learning how people move and operate in Gundam and, and learning how to close distance between one person. There's a lot less going on and you can focus on your target. And once you do that, bam, you add all that into 2v2s and that's when you really become a, a very dope um, pilot. And I um, really hope they add that. And two, they still talking about spectator mode along with the 1v1s. And best believe when they add spectator mode, I'm going to be doing tournaments for both of them. Um, so, yeah, definitely be on the reach out for that. Uh, there'll just be a little, maybe a little small thing. We'll see how it turns out. But, yeah, yeah. Um, in three, they I heard they updated the online, try to fix, do some fixes to the stability of uh, the internet connection or whatever. And uh, for me personally, the game hasn't had any real issues. I had a, um, I had an issue day launch. I couldn't do casual games for some reason, but um, after launch day, it's been fine for me. And but my friend actually, one of my friends, he has he has a hard time even staying connected to me. And we live in the same area. And not only do we live in the same area, like it kicks him, and he's he's um, they give him the little time out jump for five minutes and uh i don't know it, it's been weird it, it worked fine during early access but when the game launched he's been having issues with connections but i heard they're fixing that and hopefully um it fixes that for everybody um big tip though yo be wired <laughs> my friend wasn't wired i'm wired granted i don't think that's an excuse for you not being able to connect you know what i'm saying but wired definitely helps with uh, at least the quality of the game in most games um if so if you can be wired definitely be wired um <laughs> but yeah uh but uh, what i wanted to cover in this video is oh and before i get into that i wanted to shout out the ggeasy.com um if you guys are looking for tips for specific gundam gundams that is the best place to go um, it has a combo list, da like the damage numbers, uh, tips, and, and kind of play styles. It has all that stuff. Not in video, just written down. But it's very, um, very dope guide. And I've been going there to learn um, more and more Gundams. So I have more, you know, Gundams to utilize. Uh, 185 Gundams, I can't just pick one. I, I got I to gotta have, <laughs> I got to different, I got to have options, you know what I'm saying? And uh, definitely, you guys need to check out that site. And also, y'all should check out Minato's channel. Um, I don't know Minato, but I, his videos come up in my recommended all the time, and I watched a couple. And he, in my opinion, he he does really good videos in breaking down Gundams, how they play, and their pros and their cons, and doing these cool like breakdown and reviews for for him. So definitely check out his channel. Uh, especially if you're looking for specific Gundam gameplay and tips and tutorials. Um, he has some pretty good ones. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to go over... Um, the first thing I want to go over, part one, is... I know everybody wants to use their favorite Gundams, right? I had the same problem when I started in Full Bruce. But we're trash when we first start. This is a hard game to get into. Don't feel bad. It's okay. We always trash. Everybody was bad. I still don't think I'm that great at this game. I, I feel like coming from versus to this, I feel like I had to, I ain't feel like I had to relearn everything, but I definitely felt rusty. I, felt, I definitely had to like, I definitely felt like a rookie pilot. You know what I'm saying? I'm, now I'm a little bit more, you know, I'm not the main character yet, but I'm definitely at least, you know, the main character. I'm, de I'm not, I'm not Hiro Yui, but I might be, um, I might be uh I might be Troa now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Quatro. Probably more Quatro. I don't know if I say his name right. I always said it with an accent as a kid. Quatro. I'm probably not saying it right. But anyway. <laughs> Yo, I, I highly suggest that you stick 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 stick. You stay 
you stick in the 1500 to 2000 range while you're learning this game um look for a gun that kind of fits your play style or all of, kind of like yeah look for a gun that fits your play style and find but try to stick in the 1500 2000 range while you're learning the game while you're getting the basics down the fundamentals the boosting the uh zoning neutral while you're figuring out how to do that and how to close in the gap with melee attacks all that nonsense you want to stick within the 1500 2000 game because this game is very team oriented and you don't want to hold your teammate down by being a high cost suit when you don't know how to play the game Use a 1500 so you can kind of learn how you play the game not only not only is it going to give you more play time while you're learning these suits and matches um your teammate is more likely to carry you <laughs> so you'll get wins um it's a lot easier to carry a 1500 suit than it is another 3000 trust me especially if you're learning the game um but yeah so i'm gonna go over a couple of the 2000s 1500 and 2000 that i think you guys should try and use or try to figure that help me and i think there are good or easy mode guns to use while you learn the game now you're again it's your sixty dollars so you're free to spend um play the game however you like um you can stick with a three thousand suit until you master it i'm sure some people have done that and i'm sure people work for them but for me personally it helped me working my way up to these higher cost suits and when i learned from fundamentals of the game these suits with more options i was able to utilize these options way more because i knew how the game works so that's me personally um again first gundam i'm going to recommend is the og gundam he's strong pretty all-around kit um he hits hard has a cool back shot that kind of helps um pause <laughs> um pretty pretty straightforward gundam easy to use g gundam i think he's cool and he has this weird mechanic where he can like half transform into a uh, airplane and shoot and dodge at the same time really dope he has this dope move where he turns into a tank and he drops out of the sky and hits the ground really dope move to hit the ground first it kind of brings back versus vibes where he does the little drop dash really dope um really dope mechanic to get your boost back and so that's something you don't have to worry about as much um really dope suit easy to use pretty nice melee combos also um Mark II is a good Gundam. I don't know too much about this Gundam um, kit-wise. I haven't used it enough, but it is a solid range-type Gundam. I think uh, a lot of people can get used to using. Um, and I'm only going over the Gundams that I kind I know how to use or I used before. If you guys know any Gundams that you think are very easy to use, please feel free to recommend them to players in in the comments or whatever you guys want to do. Um, or tell me, educate me, because I don't know everything. There's 180 Gundams in this game. I don't know shit. <laughs> Gundam F91, I think he's a very dope Gundam to use. Very range oriented, I think. But pretty good kit. Victory Gundam's very annoying to hit. Also a very good Gundam, I think, to use. g Easy's pretty straightforward. Range Gundam has cool assist. Um, also another Gundam that I, I was using the other day. Not, very, not bad. Kind of the same as Victory Gundam, where he kind of like... Does these break apart things? Very annoying, <laughs> but very good support Gundam and range oriented suit. Um, Sand Rock, I think, is a good like all around. He has some pretty good um, range um, range um, <laughs> weapons and very good combos. Death Scythe is a pretty good melee oriented suit. I don't think he's very easy to use, but I think I think if you're looking for a melee oriented suit. He's not a bad option. Very easy combo to do damage to. You literally just hold like down. Sumo, very good gun. I'm pretty good range mobile suit. Has a move where it blocks damage and can like punish you. And that move does a lot of damage. Um, pretty good suit. And I'm probably missing some. Also a pretty good all around suit to use. Pretty dope combos. Uh, pretty de decent uh, weapons for utility like the whip um, and pretty good range option it's okay range option Axia I think is a really dope suit um, I, th I don't think he's simple I think he's 
I think it's a good suit to learn because it's, once you master him, he's really good, especially for a 2000 suit. Um, he, in Versus, he was one of the better 2000 suits in the game. I think he's really good. I think people should... Hard to master, but once you master him, he's really good. Um, I, I skipped over this one, Lego. This was my go-to in full boost, and he helped me kind of learn the basis of the game. Very simple move set. He has a pretty good range, pretty good range, and pretty. Someone in my YouTube comment that I, the video I have of, of me using him told me I need to use my melee more with him. Um, so I'm assuming he has pretty decent melee. Um, but I, I very, I use him very range oriented. He's pretty fast. Um, he, he's pretty cool Gundam. Pretty good range, and he's fun to use. He looks like a Zoid. Pretty dope Gundam. And. Here's one that's pretty solid to use. He has different forms, so he's he's pretty cool all around type. And I don't know. All right, and this Barbados. Barbados is my one of my favorite Gundams right now. Um, I know, yeah, Iron Blood Orphans, blah blah blah. But he's like he's just really good fun suit. I personally prefer the OG Barbados to Lupus, and I think Lupus Rex is better, of course. He's three thousand. Barbados is two thousand. But I still prefer using this one. Um, just the low calls allows me to be more reckless. So I like that. Um, but he's really fun to use. Pretty straightforward. He has a dope combo that keeps him. And I, I use him more. So of course I have more to say about him. But dope combo that, that stays kind of mobile. Even though if it's just straight. He goes in a straight direction. You're still mobile. Um, that does pretty decent job. Uh, damage and he has some short combos that do really good damage too and the only thing that sucks about him is his range option his sniper lasers go right through it and destroy it so which kind of sucks but the homing on it is really good and they do pretty good stagger and three hits i think is an, i think three hits for most weapons are a knockdown but um for especially the single shots um, but I think he's a really fun gun to use, and he's another one. He might not be the easiest one out of this list, uh, because he's kind of very straightforward. A lot of people kind of, I, me, um, me too, me too, but yeah, me, just like me, like we like to kind of rush our enemies a lot. So, and if someone knows what you're doing, they can easily punish you, even though that goes with all the suits, but um. I think he's very fun to use, man. Very dope combos, and he's a good partner, and he's good. He's good at holding his own, if you know what you're doing. And, uh, oh, Easy 8. My boy GK goes off with Easy 8. Definitely good range Gundam, in my opinion. Um, he looks very fast. I don't know if it's because he's running or what. All the Gundams that run look very fucking fast. I don't know why, but this dude will be booking. And GK videos, he be looking crazy, but very, very good range oriented suit, and um, he's pretty dope. Uh, Job Custom Two is a very fun suit to use. He's a very, uh, I think he's melee oriented, um, but I do think the Gatling gun is a pretty good range option that he has until he runs out of ammo. Um, but he's very fun. He's very mobile, and his grappling hook is fun to use. That a lot of other gunners have. So he's a good one to kind of learn a grappling hook with, cause that a lot of other gunners have. But um, yeah, definitely check out GL Custom if you like melee oriented suits. Uh, someone told me this is one of the best gunners in the game. I don't know if I believe it. I've only had an issue with one player who used it, and he was kicking my ass. But um, I also saw a Japanese player go off with this gunner too. But um, so far, most of the time I run into him, he's not that bad. I haven't used him yet, but. Um, um yeah <laughs> maybe you guys will figure it out before i do oh this is the last one. Oh, i got two more two more then i'm done uh if free custom very good suit i kind of think he should be 2000 he's really good i don't people be beating my ass with this gundam i haven't used them since versus so i don't even remember his moveset but he's sick he has his like stun and his melee combos and i think he has a whip too he be bodying me uh and Red frame. Red frame is just a dope. He, not only does he look cool, he's kind of an all-around type Gundam. I think he has he has an okay range game, but he's pretty good solid melee. Um, I don't think his combos. 
do that crazy damage, but compared, especially compared to the um, these other versions of, that he has. But pretty fun gun to use. Um, right now, I still prefer the 2000 over the 2500. Um, I think that will change soon <laughs> once I learn use these more. Um, but very fun gun to use. Pretty pretty sexy combos, and yeah. And I'm gonna end the video here. And part two will be whenever I throw it out. But I'm out. <laughs> Y'all be safe. Deuces.